If you wanna take a photo of something and do a Google search and know exactly what it is, the Google Lens feature is a great option. I'm gonna walk you through the steps to do that. The first thing you need to do on your iPhone is open up the App Store here. Now, once you're in the App Store, we'll look for some apps that are options. So at the very bottom right, tap on the search icon. Once you've done that, you'll be able to see at the very top of your screen is a search bar. Let's just search for Google and hit search. Now, keep in mind, there are a number of different options on here. You can just download the Google app itself, but you can also download the Google Chrome app as well. So it works in both of those, either Google or Google Chrome. Now, most people probably have Google Chrome already on their phone, or if they don't, just download and install it. Now, once you've opened it up on your phone, you'll be able to see at the very top is a search bar, and to the right of that search bar is a microphone as well as a camera icon. To use Google Lens, you're gonna tap on that camera icon. Now, it says Google Lens here. I have to give it permission to use my camera, so it lets it continue. And now I've given it permission. Now, you have two different options. One is you can take an actual photo. So I can tap the shutter button on this remote here, and it will do a fantastic job of finding that specific remote in Google. So here it is, Sony Wireless Remote, and I can go directly to it. However, there's another cool option as well. Let's hit the back button, and I can tap on the gallery icon at the bottom left. Because from here, all I need to do is go through and I can search for something specific. Let's say this and see what it finds. It'll probably look and identify those plants. So let's say I want to know what kind of plants are these. And I can just basically take my finger and move it around. And it will look around and try to find the exact plant on here. Or I can move it around to wherever I want. Keep in mind, this coordinates or basically dictates what it will look at. So if I just wanted to focus on the water lilies, I could make it really tiny at the corner. And then it would just focus on the water lilies. I can kind of control each specific part of that photo and what it focuses on so that you can do that Google Lens on whatever you want.